Okay, today we're going to be talking about batteries and servicing batteries. I'm going to keep this video pretty basic. Um, I don't want to go into details right now with the markings on the batteries, uh, the BCI group uh, markings. Um, I just want to go through doing a basic uh, battery service and that's going to mean removing the battery from the vehicle. So. Let's go ahead and get started on this video um, and take a look at some of the tools and things that we're going to have to do first. Some of the tools that I have set out here for the video uh, might not be readily available uh, at whatever repair shop it is that you're going to work at. Um, however, there are things that most technicians can pick up for minimal expense. And um, when we service a battery, first we've got to think why. Why are we going to service this battery? Well, batteries as we know uh, are typically 48 month or 60 month, one of the two. So a four year or a five year battery. And of course in most late model vehicles, those batteries are typically lasting about four years. However, you're always going to get the guy out there who says, well, I've got seven or eight years on my battery and it's still going just fine. Okay, we're not going to argue with that. Um, it does happen, but with more electronics being put in automobiles today, uh, batteries certainly are lasting a lot shorter than what they were just 10 years ago. But anyhow, let's take a look at some of the tools uh, that we have available for us when we service batteries. Of course we have the hydrometers and we've talked about those a little bit in earlier lessons. We don't want to confuse those with um, coolant hydrometers and of course batteries now are maintenance free so they're sealed and we really can't get inside of them to check electrolyte anyhow. So we can though look at the indicator on the battery um, which is going to show up as like a green dot. Okay, a little sight glass, and we'll talk about that in a later video. Anyhow, um, what I have set out here is I have a old-fashioned, kind of, if you will, because batteries now are pretty much all side terminal. So this is what I mean when I say side terminal. Just don't really see these anymore. Everything is a side post. This is a top post. Um, we have a post spreader, and of course this will be for your top post battery. A um, couple tools right here just to connect to a side post battery, make charging a little bit easier. Um, some wire brushes, a couple pairs of pliers. We have another hydrometer, it just looks a little bit different. But Anyhow, um, the goal here is, is to get all of the acid that accumulates from the battery off of the battery. And when we're looking at it in a car, um, usually this is going to show up as a lot of that green um, menace, as I like to call it, okay, especially here where we live in the northeast. Um, that corrosion is going to build up right around either terminal, be it negative or the positive one. It doesn't really matter. And so what we'll do is we would remove the battery from the vehicle and take it to an area to clean it and get rid of all that acid buildup. Um, one reason why we don't want to let that go is because if you look at all the wires in and around the battery area, that acid will leak over onto those batteries and eventually it's going to cause a lot of corrosion and then things stop working. So um, it is a good service to sell our customers uh, a battery service. So Before we can remove the battery from the vehicle, uh, we do have to talk a little bit about um, preserving the vehicle's computer um, power. And we don't want to just go ahead and disconnect the battery from a vehicle because if we do that, then what's going to happen is we're going to dump power to the vehicle's computer and we're going to lose things such as radio stations and whatever that customer may have preset. So I have a few tools set out here. Um, this right here, of course, is our booster pack and it has a feature on that booster pack where you can go ahead and open this up and use the supplied uh, 
power umbilical. That's what this is for. And these come with every booster pack you buy. And one end's going to go into the booster pack, and the other end's going to go into the vehicle's power point or cigarette lighter on the interior of the vehicle. And what this does um, is it's going to supply that little bit of power to the vehicle's computers and the radio um, to keep stations from being erased. So that's one way we can do it. Another way uh, we could do it is I have this simple little gizmo right here, which is also a power umbilical. And this one just has a 9-volt battery connected to it. So with this one, you don't need the booster pack. Um, you just go ahead and make sure your 9-volt battery is good and plug this part right here into your vehicle cigarette lighter or power point, which we're going to do right now. So we'll take a walk over. And... We want to do this before we disconnect uh, the vehicle's battery. Okay, so I'm going to try and get you in there as best I can with me. And I'm just going to go ahead, remove the cigarette lighter, and just plug this right in where that cigarette lighter would go. Now we're okay to go ahead and disconnect the vehicle's battery. Okay. And just for sake of time with this video, I went ahead and I already have a battery out um, of a car. I just thought it would make it a little bit faster. And I just want to go over with you that procedure of taking that um, build up off the battery. Okay. So what we're going to use here is just some good old baking soda. There's nothing really special about it. Um, it's just baking soda. Doesn't matter the brand. Okay. I know some have used, um, you know, acidic things such as Coca-Cola or Pepsi, and I found that that does not work as well. Um, I don't think it does. But anyway, baking soda does seem to be the best. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean this battery off for you. Of course, we always make sure that our safety glasses are on. And so just kind of sit back and watch and enjoy how I go about cleaning up this battery. And I'm going to let that baking soda sit on there for about five minutes. And the more corrosion that you have on the surface of the battery, um, the better reaction you're going to get. You'll see it bubbling and, and doing all kinds of neat stuff, almost like a crazy science experiment. Right now, we're not getting too much reaction because there wasn't a lot of corrosion on that battery. I really looked pretty, pretty hard this morning for vehicles that had batteries with lots of corrosion and even my own it seems pretty clean because while well, I do a lot of maintenance so um, while that's kind of working what I was going to do is give you a little demonstration on um, in this video on how to work with top post batteries and um, just kind of go through some of those tools I showed you earlier here's our top post and you know, I just grabbed one out of stock. There's no cable connected to it. But when this was, on, you know, if this is on the battery, what some technicians do is they'll grab any tool. They don't care what it is. And they try and pry this off of the battery uh, terminal. And when they do that, um, they're actually damaging the battery, okay? Because that terminal is made out of lead. So is our contact. It's made out of lead also. But when you pry between the battery's plastic case and trying to get this terminal off, um, you usually wind up either cracking the case or uh, dislodging either positive or negative terminal and it's going to break loose from the plates inside and now the battery doesn't work at all. So um, what you should do is use this gizmo right here 
All right, and this is just a puller, battery terminal puller. And how that will work is, I'll just unthread it a bit. And of course, with the, the nut loose on that, on that connection, um, this part goes right on top of the terminal, slip it over top, and as you turn, what's happening is this threaded part is pushing down on the battery terminal, and the little claws down here grip it from underneath, so it's going to push and pull at the same time, and this will properly remove your battery uh, terminal without damaging it. And then of course, um, one of the other tools that I had here that I wanted to show you is a, a terminal spreader, okay? And how this works is, you know, and I've used a couple screwdrivers in the past, but remember, there's a tool for pretty much everything out there. This just gets inserted right in there, and I'm gonna try and where you see it as I squeeze it, okay? As I squeeze this, you should see that begin to spread apart. Okay, which it did. And now I made that terminal a little bit bigger because when it goes down onto the battery, it should fit totally down onto the battery. Um, don't put battery terminals on where they just slight layer on top of the battery post. Make sure they go all the way down as far as they can go. Then of course, tighten the nut up. And even for that, there is a battery tightening pair of pliers. So this is what they look like, almost like channel locks. Um, you could use a wrench, usually these are half inch. And you'll just use your battery pliers to tighten it down. So some cool tools anyhow. Um, as we're waiting on our baking soda to do the job. And I think that's about all the time I'm gonna give that baking soda to work. So now what we'll do is yeah, we'll come in here and I'm going to put a little bit more water on it. Sometimes that sort of helps that reaction along of getting that corrosion off. And of course we'll just rinse it off. Make sure we get all the baking soda off, all the corrosion off. and make it look nice and pretty. Uh, for when it goes back in the car. And as you saw, um, as I'm cleaning that up, you probably noticed, or at least I hope you did, that I made one heck of a mess with the water. If you could imagine doing that service while it was inside the vehicle, okay? Um, if I were dumping water and all that all over in here, you gotta remember that vehicles are very electronic anymore and they don't react very well to water. So I strongly recommend that you remove the battery uh, from the vehicle after using our power umbilical and take it over to the strip drain and clean it up. Okay, we're, we're almost done. The last tool that I'm going to grab is my handy little brush here. Okay. And I'm going to go over and clean those connections right here. In fact, I'm going to bring this battery up here uh, where I can get you an even better shot because I just don't think that that does it justice. So um, this tool right here is going to fit right in where our connections go, and it has two tips on it. Um, one of those tips goes inside where the battery hold down bolt goes, and of course this wire brush on the outside is going to clean up around this area. So we make those nice and clean. Now, should we be working with a top post battery? Sometimes we get that still, uh, not too common anymore, but we could go ahead and we could use this tool right here. Okay, and this is a kind of a two-in-one. Um, it has a cleaner right here for the top posts. We just put that right down on there. You notice it makes it nice and shiny and of course if you pull it apart just twist and pull it also has a sort of a metal reamer right there and how that works with the top post batteries that we could just go ahead and put this inside and clean up the the, the contact as well uh, as the terminal okay. because what good is doing one side if you're not going to do both the idea is is to clean 
the post and uh, your terminal as well, all right? So um, that right there, we've gone ahead and we've covered everything that is battery service on a vehicle, um, but that is your typical battery service. Um, the last tool that I guess I could show you before I'm out of time and out of tools is this right here, um, which is a battery carrier. You probably wondered what that was and how that works is if you do not have uh, a handy carrying strap on there like this one does, you could just simply install this and ratchet it up. And just like that, your battery is, uh, is ready to be carried. So I could walk around with this all day long. And pretty neat. So anyway, that's it for my video on battery service. Um, that's one of your lab tasks, so uh, clean them up and make sure you do them right the first time. And if you like this video, please subscribe and click the like button at the bottom.